Hi everyone, this is Mac Citri, BPO Quality, and this is the group conversation video preview for our next up and coming up and coming group conversation on uh, June the 7th. As always, we will try to provide you a high level overview of what the status is. Please feel free to skip uh, watch forward fast on, on our recording to save your time, uh, but we will try to be as brief as possible. Jumping into the first update is our department updates. Uh, we have two new hires, uh, Andre joining our import manage and uh, another candidate joining soon for verify pipeline authoring. We are also expanding, uh, maturing our quality engineering into a sub department with Tanya Pazidni uh, taking on interim director of quality engineering. And we are also uh, giving Vincy Wilson uh, more area to cover as well. She'll be taking on SEC fulfillment and protect and she will also be the acting QEM for Tanya previous team, which is the enablement team. We're also welcoming a new team uh, in, in quality, which is the new engineering analytics team. Going in top of mind, this has changed a bit since the last time we talked. First off, it's always uh, raw, so that's our uh, three-year goal and our wider community efficiency. Engineering metrics. Uh, the third that's new on the list is pipeline efficiency. And when I group efficiency, I see three things stability, duration, and time to first failure. We'll be drilling down into more details of how, where the state of those are in a bit as well. Next up is community efficiency. With our long-term RAW, we also need to be uh, looking at uh, our day-to-day -day efficiency of our community contributors and working with the community relations team on that as well. Five and six is a newcomer. So we have uh, matured or improved our risk map process uh, I'm very happy to see our SETs coming up with a more lightweight process to, uh, to identify risk maps. And number six is uh, uh, we have contributions to our GitLab environment toolkit, which is very exciting. Uh, grading our last quarter OKRs, uh, ARR uh, overall 54%. We did well in, in, in RA. I believe we hit our highest goal, our highest point at 18.5. Uh, million MR dollars. Uh, we did well uh, paving the way for, for GU contribution process, with, with which we will are adding momentum uh, this quarter. Uh, however, we, we fell short of it on adding uh, three new MR coach specialties. And uh, that's because we, we did not have enough bandwidth to take this on. On the product side, improving quality, uh, we ended at 76%. We evolved uh, our, our uh, SLO uh, PI into a new PI. So uh, uh, this is now rated as 50% and, and things are improving there. We implemented the first iteration of uh, failure of, of uh, pipelines, uh, time, to, time to failure, and also added a, a number of uh, test coverage as well. On the last OKR on team, uh, this is where we scored the highest. Uh, we, we did really well on a career development and discussions at 89%. We conducted a career metrics uh, for the whole department, and we ran an, an OKR pilot tool uh, for engineering as well, and we completed that. Jumping onto the current state of this quarter's OKRs, uh, for uh, I believe this is under uh, ARR, uh, increasing community efficiency and engagement. Uh, we have a slow start on RAW uh, because of a uh, we we, we prioritize to put our efforts to a, a key business opportunity, hence the slow start. Uh, we are uh, uh, making progress on implementing GHU reposting. I believe we've done one out of three already and that's moving on well. Uh, and uh, we added more things to get, which is our GitLab environment toolkit. Improving product quality, uh, things are moving along. This is the adding of new test infrastructure and new test uh, coverage. Uh, with the performance of large MRs being our top priority uh, this quarter. Uh, lastly, on team engagement, uh, we are on track of uh, getting everyone in the quality department to complete the diversity and training in GitLab Learn. Uh, we also want to have a performance check-in and career development conversation with everyone in the department. And we look to iterate our career metrics uh, yet another time, uh, another round this quarter as well. And I believe that we are tracking well here. 
Moving up to the uh, uh, key performance indicators, I'm just going to give a highlight. Uh, feel free to dig into the, the slides and also our uh, handbook page as well. Again, as I said before, Ra slowed down uh, uh, with a slow start because we are prioritizing a key business opportunity first. Uh, with something that's new uh, going forward is the percent of community MRs, which is now a KPI, and we'll be uh, whole, uh, working together with the community relations team on this as well. On pipeline duration target, we have revised this uh, to 45 minutes. We're making progress. I believe this is one of the key areas that uh, we may change the tile color soon. Um, master pipeline success rate is at 90 plus percent for the past two consecutive months. I believe this target is pretty high at 95%. So we haven't hit 95% as a uh, sustained progress yet. We hope to, to uh, uh, be there soon. This is where we int are intentionally keeping the bar high because uh, this is a key, uh, crucial uh, piece of productivity for all of R&D. Uh, Ryu app uh, took a brief hit because we are intentionally expanding the usage. We are very ambas in, uh, ambitious of making uh, Ryu apps running for every MR. So that will also help us uh, test the maturity of, of cloud native installs and also making sure that the test environment is available for every MR in the monorepo going forward. Uh, time to failure is being iterated. Uh, we're now going to focus on time to first failure, not just failure as a whole. And that's our next iteration as well. Uh, bugs metrics. So uh, before this was called average age of bugs, uh, we are rebranding it to be shorter, more concise with a messy foo. So open bug age, uh, short for OBA. And we have a, a bit of an update here as well, where we're tracking more on the open things and we call them the open things philosophy in our engineering metrics. For the gearing ratio, we, I'm keeping this as spread intentionally. We, we did uh, uh, get some improvements here by hiring two SETs, as mentioned before. We have three opened, uh, one in ecosystem, uh, another in Gidley, and lastly in runner as well. Uh, so a deep dive into bra. Uh, as I said before, the highest point was 18.5 in March. However, with a slow start in May, we are uh, unfortunately at 4.54 million MR dollars. We hope this will pick up again uh, once we have to, uh, 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 step back from this key business opportunity. The partnerships with, uh, cust with customer success and TAMS have been yielding uh, results. This has helped increase awareness and improve the MRA accuracy, and we will continue that. Uh, the EP team, Kyle, also has done a great job of uh, improving how we track organizations and, contrib and, and the contribut contributors as well. Uh, we continue our, our shout out in Marwin Slack channel. And, um, and also next step is to uh, work on the recognition piece to our customers and close out on the MR coaches specialties. Uh, this is a slide that I'm very excited about. This was the feedback and also this, the discovery that we have uh, realized in our key review. Uh, so a brief context, we used to have a, a, a KPI called MTTC, which is mean time to close. And we found out that uh, there was a spike. But however, the spike is because uh, the team members were closing out old bugs, hence the mean time to close increase. But that's the behavior we want to encourage because we want to close out all the bugs, no matter uh, old or new. If we continue on uh, verifying just the MTTC, uh, we will incentivize only closing out of new bugs and the older bugs will be there uh, indefinitely. So the action we took uh, is that we changed this uh, immediately uh, as, as from hearing our feedback. And we wanna measure the most impactful indicator and encourage the behavior towards that, which is closing out all open bugs. So we switched to measure average age of uh, open S1S2s and it aligns with our values as well. Uh, the, the average age will be high and that's okay because we have a low level of shame and we have to, uh, we, we champion transparency. We want to improve our focus on the one thing that matters the most and globally optimize for that. So this, align, this change aligns very well with our values. Uh, I'm also very proud to say that as a whole uh, engineering organization, uh, the, the leaders have decided to uh, do a shift of our PIs, and we call them the, uh, the PI families of open things philosophy. So uh, merge requests will be opened, merge request age, uh, Messifu is OMA, 
Uh, to pair with that, we're also measuring the efficiency of open merge request review time, uh, OMRA for short. On the bug side, we have uh, OBA, which is open bug age. And uh, lastly, in this iteration, uh, the open community MRH, and that is OGMA. Uh, that is this, the, a, a, a pair to open merge request age. However, this is specifically geared towards uh, community contributions because we care about uh, our community our, uh, computer contributor efficiency as well. Uh, we're also working closely with the CDO, CDO shadows to uh, write a blog post to share this knowledge broadly. And I, I think I missed one. Uh, the, we are also looking into the UX uh, debt as well to, to align to uh, the, the, the open things philosophy. It's already there, but we do want to have a, 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 a same branding and alignment to, to make a bigger impact together as a collective unit. Lastly, on the highlights of the department, uh, GitLab CN or Jihu. Uh, very proud of the progress by the, by the whole team. Uh, we've completed uh, uh, the process and the groundwork to sync the repos with documentation in the handbook. Uh, we've also ha uh, have improved the reporting so our team can review uh, contributions from GHU faster. We got, we got feedback from Maintainable. And, and lastly, I'm very excited about this. Uh, the GHU team contributed Alley Cloud and also Tencent Cloud Support in Get. Uh, the MR link is attached, very exciting as well. Next steps, we're gonna help Jihu validate their uh, new 50K SaaS environment. Uh, we're gonna scale the code review process to other satellite projects that's our OKR for Q2. The Jihu team are also setting up runners. Uh, they're gonna practice DR with, with the Geo and they will continue to improve Get because that's their uh, method of deploying their SaaS environment. So overall, very, very exciting uh, on, on, on our part. Uh, I'm going to spend a bit of time diving into the new engineering analytics team. Uh, this is the, we, we welcome two new founding members, Lily and, and, and Davis, into the team. And we're making a lot of progress here. The team here is the, the core workforce on, uh, on uh, improving and iterating on the whole, the, our engineering PI as a, as a whole division. Uh, deep diving into the key uh, efficiency PIs for our pipelines and for our R&D org. Uh, proud to say that our pipeline is more efficient. Uh, the EP team has lowered the average time duration from 55.7 minutes down to 45 minutes. That's a, a very uh, great progress. And I do want to celebrate that and recognize uh, the team on, on their work. Uh, stability has also improved uh, from 89% before. Now we're hitting the, the border of the target of 95%. And we will keep it here for, for a while and demonstrate sustained progress. I do think this will be the closest one that we will hopefully turn the color on the path soon. On a review app deployment, uh, I told before this, the dip here was intentional because we are stretching out. We were stable, stable before. We do want to use review apps for everything and every MR going forward. Uh, also to add the maturity of our, our cloud, cloud native installers. So uh, it has dipped uh, and we are improving. It, it's recovered to 83%. And then our SCTs and EP engineers are working together on, on this part as well. Before I end the preview, I do have a few uh, call outs from the team. Uh, in our ops QE team, uh, we are working on a uh, working group to improve ops quality overall. And uh, the team here has has general, generalized our risk mapping framework to make it more available to all product groups. That is something to look forward to as uh, this working group ends. And lastly, uh, which is the uh, get uh, maturity. So we, we have added a uh, geo deployment with no downtime and no the playbook for <clears throat> no downtime upgrades. And also we are very excited on the contributions uh, to get as well. And that's it for our uh, preview or review of our group conversation. Uh, please join us on Monday. Uh, please, uh, if you watch the recording, add your, com add your questions ahead of time. We'll be happy to jump in. And uh, we'll see you there soon. Uh, have, a good, uh, have a good day, good night, wherever you are.